It's a new range of products from EAW. Um, it's targeted really at um, a, a universal uh, portable market, um, including sort of the corporate uh, AV type companies, uh, rental companies. Um, obviously, it's very corporate friendly with the with the black, or we call it the hyper black logo on the front. Um, it has a, a red stripe on the side, but this is held on magnetically, um, so it's completely removable. So the whole cabinet can be black if that's uh, important to the to the end user. We've got a range of three models um, and really it's all about easy use with these products. So we've got a 12 inch two way, a 15 inch two way and a 18 inch, uh, single 18 inch subwoofer there on the floor. Um, it's plug and play, it's completely plug and play. Um, the hardware is very simple, uh, very easy to use. You've got these steel buttons, a level control and a mode control. Um, that's all you get so it's very easy to just set this up for main and sub or it can be voiced as a floor monitor. Uh, or it can be voiced as a standalone system. And the subwoofer itself uh, has a simple push button for cardioid operation as well. So if you put another subwoofer on top of this, press a single button and you have a cardioid setup. The whole system as well is extremely lightweight. Um, it's around half the weight of competing systems. Simply to just really take a make a paradigm shift in the marketplace. So, you know, the world started off with with these uh, sort of wall of sound systems. Then there was point sources. Then came line arrays, and really the industry hadn't moved on from line arrays. Everybody's just making a bigger or smaller or louder or quieter uh, new version of the same old thing. And we really wanted to make a, a statement that we're not a follower. Um, so, you know, we looked at, at what would be a, a, a more useful step forward. And this page is where we define constraints that affect the system size and placement. So we do things here like we give the array a name, we tell the software how many cabinets are available for this particular array, what model or mix of models they are, and whether we're flying them or not. Then it's just a matter of telling the software where we want the array to be placed. Um, and basically if your coverage goal is, goal is consistency then um, you have uh, these two sliders. Um, with, with this set to consistent, um, the system will fly as high as possible um, and that will give you the most even coverage front to back. Um, and then if you fly lower, the system will be louder at the front, um, but with less projection to the back.